Arbeck is a proud sponsor of local H&R Preps. Kelly, I just got a new cell phone. It's awesome. And I just shot a video of Nick at the game tonight. Oh my God, he is so cute. I'll send it to you right now. We help you stay connected with a cute picture here and there. Buy local. Buy Barbeck. Hi, this is Justin Kahn from the Herald and Review here at Williamsville High School. We're today in the Class 2A quarterfinals. Uh, Moroa, did, Moroa Forsyth defeated Williamsville 13-6, uh, a game where Moroa really shot themselves in the foot a lot offensively. Uh, it just seemed like every time they, they got momentum uh, Offensively, they, they would do something, a penalty or a fumble to kind of set them back and, and uh, you know, ended up coming down to uh, the last few plays and uh, as far as uh, Merle's defense making some big stops and uh, Merle was up 7-6. to six. Both teams scored on their first drives of the game. The score remained 7-6, to six, so pretty deep in the fourth quarter uh, when Gary Scott broke a 20-yard run that ended up setting up uh, Logan Stelzredi at a short touchdown run. Uh, Gary Scott ends up with 229 yards rushing uh, he, he had one uh, about a 51 yarder that went down to the one uh, in the third quarter. Moroa fumbles the first play afterwards, uh, ends up setting them back three yards, and, and they're ne never able to punch it in from there. Um, before that, I believe they had a, a drive that went in uh, to Moroa's or to Williamsville's 10 yard line, and uh, Moroa tried to pass on that play uh, into the wind. It got picked off. Uh, Coach Josh Joseph went over to his team at that point and said, "Hey, pick me up for that stupid play call." Back right now, all right? Somebody step up and make up for me. He really blamed himself for a lot of what went wrong uh, for Moreau offensively today. Though I think, uh, you know, at practice on uh, next week, he'll he'll probably point out uh, the penalties. Uh, Moreau ends up with uh, about nine penalties in this game. You know, little stuff for Moreau in this game that, that didn't look good and, and uh, you know, in a regular season game might be cause for concern. But, you know, when it's the playoff quarterfinals, you're pretty much just happy to win the game. And also, they got to be happy with their defensive effort in this one. Uh, it just seemed like every time they needed a defense to come through, they did. Uh, the key plays late uh, were after, uh, on Williamsville's basically with their final drive, they started at the 20, hit a big pass uh, to around midfield and with uh, Toby Probst on the defense. The next play, they go back to the same play, and this time Probst uh, jumps, gets ahead of the receiver, gets the interception that basically sold, that sealed the win. Uh, Moroa did. Uh, drive down and kind of uh, seal it with our offense on that one. Uh, Joe Hockaday had a nice 53-yard run on that one. But uh, again, uh, not a great day offensively for Moroa. Logan Stelzredi, who we expect huge numbers from, probably his, his worst game of the year uh, passing-wise, only 60 yards passing in this one. But again, Moroa's defense and, and uh, 229 yards from Gary Scott make up for it. Moroa will move on to the semifinals. Uh, they'll play at home in that one. So, uh, you know, they're feeling pretty good about things right now. and. and on making a, uh, one more game to, a, to make another state title game. Again, the final here was 13-6 Moreau over Williamsville. Make sure you check out hrpreps.com for all the coverage. At halftime, we told them we had the ball, we had the lead. You know, they were allowed to smile. We are winning the uh, football game, you know, at halftime and come out and, and, and play hard and execute and come right down the field on this first drive. And uh, kids did exactly like I asked them. Uh, really, I mean, I think to say that things just weren't going our way today. I mean. Last week we had a, a great outstanding game this week. I mean, we came back and we had to play against some adversity. I mean, we things just weren't going our way this week. I can't say enough about John Kidd and my uh, my defensive staff, Tony Klein. They do a, do a great job, and uh, you know you know without them we're uh, we're we're in there with the quarterfinal plaque, uh, trying to figure out what went wrong with the offense today. Uh, we practiced that all week. We that's. Our heart and soul, I mean, obviously we have a good offense, but we say if we play defense, we shut people out. If we have a bad offensive day, then we're going to win. And we, we feel confident in our defense. We're physical. We're big. We, we might not be big, but against the teams we've been playing the past couple weeks, we yeah. have been. So that's how we feel about it.